Hello beautiful people, welcome to my another video. Traveling in air has been one of the most exciting things to do in this world. Planes which are used to fly from one place to another can carry people to other continents, countries and across the ocean within hours. There was a time when such long distances would travel in days and weeks by ships on water or road trips. With the advancement in technology, there are planes that take only minutes to reach their destination. In this video, we are going to highlight the top 7 fastest aircrafts in the world. These aeroplanes achieve the highest level of speeds which no other vehicle ever can. Hello beautiful people, welcome back. The aircraft at number 7th is the Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhound. With a top speed of Mach 2.83, the Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhound is the 7th fastest aircraft in the world. It is Russia-built interceptor aircraft. It is designed to go straight very fast in order to intercept and destroy invading planes. It is seen as a modernized replacement to the older MiG-25 4-bad in the late 1970s and early 1990s. Together. Our next aircraft at number 6 is the XB-70 Valkyrie. The XB-70 Valkyrie was a unique aircraft with 6 engines which together could accelerate the 240 kg aircraft to a velocity of Mach 3. This speed resulted in the frame of the aircraft being heated up to as much as 330 degrees Celsius on some areas. The extreme speed was needed for two reasons. First was that to accelerate away from Soviet interceptors and second was that to be able to escape the blast of the nuclear bombs that it was capable of dropping. The aircraft had its first flight in 1964 and is now retired. Our next aircraft at number 5th is the Bell X2 Starbuster. The Bell X-2 was a rocket-powered swept-wing research aircraft designed to investigate the structural effect of aerodynamics, heating, as well as stability and control effectiveness at high speeds and altitudes. The program was developed jointly in 1945 to explore aerodynamics problems of supersonic flight and to expand the speed and altitude regimes obtained with the earlier X-1 series of research aircraft. The Starbuster was a continuation of the X-2 program and so its area of investigation was to see how aircraft behave when flying at speeds higher than Mach 2.0. It did as can be understood not carry any weapons and featured a back swept wing which made it have little air resistance and was by that able to achieve the stunning speed of 3.196 Mach in 1956. However, soon after this speed was attained, the pilot made a sharp turn and the aircraft tumbled out of control. He could not regain control of the aircraft and bailed. Unfortunately, only the small parachute of the space shuttle was opened and he hit the ground with too high speed. This fatal crash ended the Starbuster program, but Bell X2 still is one of the top 10 fastest. Our next aircraft at number 4 is the Mikoyan MiG-25 Foxbat. The Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 was a super-fast interceptor and bomber aircraft designed by the Soviet Union's Mikoyan Gurevich Bureau. First flown as a prototype in 1964, it entered service in 1970. With a top speed of Mach 3.2, a powerful radar, a four air-to-air -air missiles, the MiG-25 worried Western observers and prompted development of the F-25. Our next aircraft at number 3rd is the Lockheed Martin's YF-12. This jet was an American interceptor prototype with a top speed of Mach 3.35. It looked almost like the SR-71 Blackbird and featured three air-to-air -air missiles. The reason for it looking a lot like the SR-71 because the SR-71 based on the YF-12. Only three YF-12s were built but the program still made it into the history books with its highest speed, highest altitude and biggest interceptor record. Our next aircraft at number 2nd is the Lockheed Martin's SR-71 Blackbird. After its introduction in 1996, it has been used by both the USAF and NASA. 32 Blackbirds were built all used for reconnaissance and experimental research. It featured stealth technology, but if it was against all odds spotted by enemy forces, it could outrun the interceptors or surface-to-air missiles that were fired at it due to its fantastic speed. The Blackbird was so fast that the air in front of it did not have time to escape, hence building up a large pressure and raised temperature. The temperature of aircraft, which could reach several hundred degrees high, expanded the metal, hence it had to be built by too many small pieces. Because of this, the SR-71 actually leaked oil when standing still. The SR-71 was developed as a long-range strategic reconnaissance aircraft capable of 
flying at speeds over Mach 3.2 and at 8,500 feet. Our next fighter plane at the number one is the North American X-15. The North American X-15 is the first on our top 10 fastest aircraft in the world list. This aircraft has the current world record for the fastest manned aircraft. Its maximum speed was Mach 7.0, which was attained on the 3rd of October 1967. To be stable at these super high velocities, it had to feature a big wedge tail. However, the downside of this was at the lower speeds, the drag was extremely big from such a tail. Therefore, a B-52 had to carry it up to an altitude of about 14,000 meters before dropping it at which it ignited its own engines. Just imagine sitting in a rocket measuring only 15 meters in length and then being dropped must have been a truly magnificent feeling. The X-15 was used at such extreme speed so that it did not use traditional ways to steer, but instead it used rocket thrusters. This made it possible to reach altitudes higher than 100 kilometers, which was one of its world records.